Lighty Boxing with Frank Warren and Queensbury with Mr. Joe Gallagher. Now, Joe, I've seen a few pictures of yourself in your gym at the moment. And I'll tell you what, it looks like from the pictures, there's like a, a new vibe about it. Yeah. Know, a new freshness and sort of, I don't know, you've got you know, people like Macaulay McGowan, Mark Heffron looking newborn and sort of rejuvenated. Am I right in my reading? Yeah, definitely. I think it's very much, um, I think this is like the fourth, fourth team squad that we're doing at the moment. Huge fan of Ferguson and Listen, years ago we started off with John Murray, then we had Matthew Macklin and Dave come and gone and then came the era of the Quig and the Crawler and the Smiths and they've come and gone and then we've got Jose Burton, Marcus Morrison, all them and now like you say, um, with Callum Johnson now leading on the front line with Natasha and Paul Butler, um, sometimes old blood needs motivating and a bit like a football team. You need a uh, of personnel in the changing room. McCauley McGowan brings that. He's uh, improving all the time. I think he went out there to Kazakh, did really well. Then he fought Kieran Conway. He has potential and we're working on that. Uh, Mark Heffron, exciting, explosive fighter. He started with me, Mark, 10 years ago, 11 years ago as a pro. And uh, after six, seven fights, we parted ways. But we're back now and I'm glad to have him back. And he's out next week and uh, I think he's really going to deliver um, and what I think he can do is win a British title at least and then obviously Charlie Edwards has joined us that, that, that's, that's been great for, for Paul Butler so it's iron sharp and iron there and bringing that new blood in and fighters who have been around Mark heffron has been around a lot of fighters Charlie Edwards has been around for them to come in and settle in just gives everyone else in the gym that still that seal of approval we're in the right place and like you say it's a, a thriving environment and us as coaches at that times need motivating we're going in all the time motivating yeah and sometimes you just well, come on motivate me show me what you've got and uh, yeah it's a good thriving place and obviously with Anthony Crawler and a couple of these fighters that are in training there's so much the first hour I call that, that cost the coffee a new morning. energy as well doesn't it pardon that probably brings a new energy as well yeah, having, having another young coach you know who's one of yours yeah, yeah. you know bringing his people to the party yeah, and, and, and for them they're seeing around and looking at the big stage and being in and around that environment it, 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 it's it's good and we've got young prospects little Callum Thompson who, who's shown on, on the prospect show he's coming through and I've got another couple of kids that are ready to turn over and, and I just think with them they're, they're going to, to make waves so it's a yeah, it's good. Just when I thought boxing, it cycles, isn't it? But when, when people were talking... Yeah, when not, we, I was just going to say to you, like football, boxing gyms can be cyclical. Yeah. But I was going to say, you've managed to... You've, got, you've always managed a continuity and a consistency, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I've been very fortunate to work with um, good fighters. But, um, yeah, we were excited and we're ready to push on that, that there's more titles and more belts in that gymnasium and I won't finish until fighters like Callum Johnson become a world champion, Mark Heffron becomes a British champion, Natasha wins a world title, Paul Butler, do you know what I mean? And with the young kids coming through, so um, yeah, there, there's plenty of fire in the belly yet. We was having a chat down at the Peacock a few weeks ago, Yeah. and I remember saying to you, or we quoted you, sort of saying, when my current lot are done, which meant all the lot you had a couple of years ago, Collars and Quigs, you said, that'll be me. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, new pictures, new team pictures yeah, come out, yeah, yeah. and he's restocked. Yeah, I, I think it was a case of like anything. Um, the missus always, she sees the the, the stress and that, and and the the, the, the the down times that you have, and she sees the results, how the impact, I mean, how miserable we are, what states of depression you can get in, the downs. We suffer it as much because we're living the dream with the fighters, and we're trying to get the best we can do. And she wants me just to like half knock it in and just play at it and do with that. Plus the academy that we're running as well. And um, when people, yeah, people start saying, yeah, nearly finished that gym. Yeah, they'll be out of it soon. Yeah, yeah, he's had his day. Ah, red flag to a ball. It's like, really? Right, all right, and we've, we've got to do this again. This will be my fourth team, my Ferguson team, and we've got to do it. So, yeah. I don't think she's aware of it yet, like, do you know what I mean? But uh, we're here for a few years yet, anyway. Now, there's a couple of people I want to talk to you about specifically. Like you mentioned, young Callum Thompson, he um, had his second fight, his first with Frank a few weeks ago down at the uh, Copper Box. Um, spoke to Frank about him and he was really one that stood out. He really uh, he really looks quite something. What can you tell us about him? I mean, is he one of these sort of blue chip prospects that you think can go all the way? I, I think there's a lot of kids that come into gymnasiums and a lot of them have huge potential. But as you know and I know, we only can control what happens in a gymnasium. 
when people start getting into fighters' ears, the people they knock around with, they get that first bit of TV, then they're becoming the first title. There's all them things that they've got to, like a ship, you've got to sail your way through the and if they can stay focused, stay disciplined, listen to the people that are day one, and and live a disciplined, dedicated life, then yeah, he's got a huge opportunity to fulfil that potential. But we can only do what we can do. And at the moment, Cam Thompson's doing everything that I ask of him. He had a good debut. He performed really well beneath the lights, uh, beneath the lights with Frank watching. And that's very unnerving as well because you're trying to impress. And he did really well. He's out again in two weeks, again up in Manchester, and then hopefully he'll be back on another show uh, with Frank before Christmas. And for Frank, I've always said for Frank, Frank, Frank's. It's very hard to please Frank because of his levels. But I think if, if Frank. You get Frank's eye, you're on to a winner. Because if you get Frank behind you, then Frank will give you that path. He, he, he's like uh, the, the, the Wizard of Oz. He'll give you that the gold at Yellow Brick Road. He, he'll get you. seen that with Nathan Cleverley. As soon as Frank took line, Nathan Cleverley, boom, gone. Other fighters, exactly Anthony Yardy. Yeah. yeah, do you understand? And uh, like I said to you, the, the main thing is, is Frank wants fighters to live the life like he lives the life, how I live the life, and we're professionals in this. and. That's what we have to teach with these young kids. And I think that's what happens to some of the young fighters. They have all the potential, but bouts eight, nine and 10, they fell by the wayside. The mates uh, got them out drinking or they're not, they're, 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 they've got to, it's a, it's a long road, but it's a rewarding one if they stick with it. If you look at your gym and some of the pitfalls which you described, there's some great role models in your gym though, isn't it? We'd be able to, like Mark Heffron's got all the experience of everything. Yeah. We call him McGowan, he's been through it all, he's been the hot prospect, yeah, yeah. then he's been the opponent, he's, he's been across the whole sort of sphere. Yeah. Now, if, if Callum wants people to look to, he's got them right in front of him, hasn't he? He's got them all there, and like you say, also of Anthony Crawler, Anthony Crawler, like you say, lost a couple of times early on in his career. He came to me and everyone said, oh, nice kid, Anthony, really nice kid, can't punch, be lucky to win in English. And um, there that you go. Well yeah, that, that went. <laughs> Liam Smith, obviously, he, he, um, he's fighting in a big fight in Liverpool this weekend, but he came to me on the back of a draw, not as good as Paul or Stephen. And, 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 pardon? Is it Ochien? Um, yeah, no, he beat Ochien for the British, but he, he was coming off a draw against the journeyman. But oh, yeah, look, yeah. at Liam went on and done so. The, the, there's plenty of people in the gym that needs to, especially when people say you can't, there's lots of people in the gym that have turned it around and went, no, you can't. So uh, if you can't thrive in that environment, we're wasting our time, aren't we? Finally, Callum Johnson. Um, you brought him across, had an absolutely edge of the seat, explosive return, which I'm sure had you sort of uh, chewing your knuckles down. But um, unfortunately, then he had a bit of a hand which yeah. lost a little bit of continuity yeah, yeah. momentum. He's back out now. Yeah couple of weeks delay. Um, is he a happy fighter? He's a happy fighter. He, 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 Callum knows he's got to do it, he's got to do it now. It was unfortunate um, with his hand but obviously he likes wearing them Everlast MX gloves and um, he wanted to make a statement and he made one so he got his hand a bit tinged but he's back now and he wants to win. It's bubbling nicely. Um, you've seen the announcement of the fights over the last few days. You've got a BTBF's fight, Joe Smith's fights, they're all being announced and uh, we're just at one or two fights away. He knows he's got to do now. He hasn't got time on his side and he's got to make that uh, statement. He's got a really tough fight Saturday night. It's a really tough fight. This kid's only lost twice, once for a world title. And the other one was, I think it was like four months ago when he lost to the Olympic semi-finalist at super heavyweight. He lost to the American and um, he got stopped on his feet. So he's a, a very good fighter. So it's a hard night's work. I'm getting told to stop now. So yeah, that's me keeping you talking no, too much. So thank you very much, Joe. No Great problem. talking to you.